So Ukraine has invaded Russian territory and Russia isn't happy. A spokesperson for the Russian Foreign Affairs Ministry has said, Moscow calls on the international community to not stand aside and strongly condemn the criminal actions of the Kiev regime. Early conservative estimates suggest 135 square kilometers of Kursk were taken within 48 hours. So this is nothing like the earlier small scale raids into Russia by anti-Putin Russian groups like the Freedom of Russia. But what's the point of this risky strategy? Well, some have said that Ukrainian troops were targeting the town of Sutsa, which houses a transit point for Russian gas pipelines. But this could have been more easily achieved using drone strikes and similar means. Here are the three main reasons I propose for this invasion. Firstly, the international morale for Ukraine has been quite grim for a while now. The only thing in the news cycle about Ukraine has been the slow ceding of territory to Russia. And with the inevitable fall of New York in the not so distant future, no, not the one in America, but the one in Donetsk. Well, the Western observers who are funding the war might feel that defeat is inevitable and pull resources away and push Ukraine towards an unsatisfactory peace. So by turning the narrative around by showing huge signs of Ukrainian victory, well this might be enough to reinvigorate global support, especially important in an American election year. Second, this is the first time Russian conscripts have been pulled into the war properly. The majority of soldiers fighting thus far have been volunteers because the social contract Putin has with his people is that the ordinary Russian people conscripted into the army won't be put into any danger for they won't be asked to fight outside of Russia proper, only defend the relatively safe border. This illusion has now been shattered, so Ukraine could be hoping to um, increase anti-war sentiments within Russia by doing this. And third, although currently it doesn't look like Ukraine has intentions to keep the territory, if they decide to, well, um, when it comes to the inevitable peace negotiations, if Ukraine holds a significant amount of Russian territory, they would be in a much stronger position position to negotiate the return of their own land. And one more point, if Ukraine doesn't choose to hold on to the land, and this is them using hit and run strategies, well this could be a way for them to change the tempo of the war. For a while now Russia have been the ones taking the initiative, they have been the ones bombarding the Ukrainian front lines and using huge meat wave offensives to gain territory, and Ukraine have merely been reacting to this. However, Ukraine has now taken the initiative and now it's Russia's turn to find a way to counter it and they won't be able to use their traditional human wave um, tactics against this um, hit and run. So Ukraine could have the upper hand now but what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below.